Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Akabin101, and welcome back to our playthrough as the Tau Empire inside of Stellaris. Now, in the last video, I had a little bit of difficulty figuring out what my pop was. Uh, and as we can see here on the population tab over on my Tau home planet, and this will be true for any planets that we gather as well. This just happens to be the only place that we currently own as of right now in 20, or 2201. Uh, if we go to growing population, it's going up by three a month. And obviously we have a negative perk known as low breeders, but we have a new generation of Ethereal Supreme, um, which is a perk from our leader. So we're going to be getting a huge boost there of plus 10%, which completely negates our negative perks. So we're just getting an average of 3% or three uh, new pop every single turn, which is awesome. Um, it will still, still take a while to get our pop up, and uh, I believe we should be considering moving on over to Edar Vang third. Although we suffer from many blockers here, I think it would be a pretty solid choice. But let's go back to our home empire here, as I believe we just spawned out a brand new science vessel. We have a construction ship, science vessel, science vessel. I think we should have another science vessel popping out pretty soon here. If we can go to shipyard, oh, there we go. We are making another one, and then we should try and push into making a colony, colony ship because we're about to get some more consumer goods here that we'll be able to use uh, in creating a colonizing ship and move on uh, to greater heights, hopefully. Let's unpause the game here. We'll keep it on normal speed as things go along. Of course, some of our major things that we need is lots of alloys, and apparently consumer goods are extremely important as well. So there are structures that we can get uh, inside of our base that will allow us to get some more consumer goods, and I believe once we create a brand new uh, colony and move out, so as you can see, we just hit the very next month, we're on uh, the first year, second month, 01. We now have just enough consumer goods and we just popped out ourselves a science vessel, so we're paused at the moment. Let's go into military fleet, and of course, this is just me trying to figure it out. A spec also released a new guide, by the way. If you want a really comprehensive guide, for all the UIs and everything, I definitely get, recommend go check that out. That's how I figured out where the hell the pop growth was. For some reason, I just didn't think to uh, hover over, you know, this guy right here. <laughs> Who knew, right? Uh, yeah, so anyway, we got a new science vessel. So let's go ahead and, well, we'll recruit a new guy in a sec. Let's go to our shipyard and make sure that we're making ourselves a colonizing ship. And unfortunately, we can't. We are lacking alloys. Well, there you go. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can maybe purchase some things from the market. I think that's F3. F3 is correct. All right. Uh, yes, we need alloys. And uh, how much in particular? Something I'm curious about. 200 alloys. God damn. God damn. We might be holding off on this one for just a wee bit. We could also sell some of our food here, too. Uh, so obviously we want to buy some. It costs 130 just for 25 or 676 if you want 125 which is roughly the amount that we need so we're only getting 12 per turn now we could since we're very poor at the moment obviously if we just let the game keep going we can get tons of resources but i'm trying to optimize somewhat and kind of understand all the systems here hence why we are doing a iron man pause possible <laughs> as uh, beagle rush likes to call it for a lot of games that he plays through uh, I'm going to try and figure it out. Again, it's going to be very slow as we go through it and as I learn things and as you guys give me tips and things like that, uh, we're going to learn the game together. Um, regardless, though, we want to go into our planet summary and take a peek at uh, what kind of things we can make here because we're at 231 minerals at the moment. So maybe at some point we could just go ahead and get Alloy Foundry and kind of forego getting a colony ship too early. Uh, as we are slowly building up our alloys, because we are building up our minerals a bit faster. We're going to start building some mining depots at places where we can get more minerals. Minerals seems to be the spice of life these days. So, yeah, we're probably going to want to do that. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll, we might just save up for that. For now, then, we will go to our brand new uh, ship, the Cast Alambisna. If you're wondering why it's not like Earth Cast or whatever, I didn't know what to name it, so I just named them all Cast instead of like SS. Fisher or something like that, you know. Apparently everything is Sam Fisher. Let's assign a brand new leader. Um, research speed for statecraft. Again, I don't think this matters. It's so weird, too, because they always give us the uh, the scientists that are... They can last for 25 more years, but they're always, like, 10 
the 13, 10 to 15 years older than the other choice. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, then again, these guys might just be hanging out here. I wish you could reject them. I wish you had the choice to reject them. I'm assuming after a period of time, they'll just get shoved out. We'll be fine. Um, but I guess we'll go for the research speed. I feel like it's probably the best choice. It's going to cost us 200 uh, medals or energy credits. Sorry, I don't know why I'm calling them medals. Uh, and there we go. So we'll add Torbat Jerg. <laughs> They're all lizard people, all right? They got lizard names. They, they ain't Tau for real. I wish. I wonder if there is a mod. If anyone knows any cool mods that can give me some cool Tau names, then uh, I would love to use that and, uh, and adjust the empire. Because I'm not... I'm not against restarting this playthrough over and over again. It's, it's on Iron Man for a reason there. Uh, anyway, let's go to the main map here. So, so far we have learned that Kofifi has uh, some trade value in it, so we can trade amongst them. Edor Vang has a lovely mineral system here. So it has six minerals in this, and we're still trying to get ourselves more minerals from our main base as well. So you know what? We might want to construct a brand new engineering unit, because those don't cost anyone in particular. Uh, but let's go ahead and survey. Now, there's another option here, I believe. Oh, focusing on research anomaly. Okay, so survey is the only choice nowadays. Uh, I was watching a few other guides, and, uh, there was one that was just known as, um... Well, I don't even know what it was, to be honest with you. There was one where it was like, instead of surveying, it was like, just go to the planet and just see what's there, and then move on. But apparently that's not a thing anymore. Because now we just have assist research, which is uh, order the science vessel to aid the scientific effort of a planet increasing research output. Interesting. So I could just tell my scientists to go hang out at my main base and, like, get more research here. Interesting. So, let's test this out, because I actually have no idea how this works. So, our main planet, planet Tau, is here. So would I just tell my dude to go here and it would increase this right here, because they're all 30, 29, 29. And perhaps the research will go up. I'm actually I'm really curious about that. Let's go to shipyard before we move on. Uh, and go to construction ship. Okay, we need 100. So we're going to unpause it. And again, I'm sorry, I'm pausing all the time, but it's just how it has to be. Contact report, remnants. The Tau Empire is abuzz with news of an alien remnant, uh, that or alien remnants that were recently studied. These leavings are considered definitive proof of intelligence, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we are at least not the first to be so. I like it. All right. We're at plus 90. Oh, there we go. It just bumped up a little bit. That's so 10%. So that's a, that so it looks like a 10% boost to me. Okay, so this is very accurate to what it is. And it affects all jobs, apparently. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I went from like 30 to 32. And uh, 29 to 31. So a two tick boost for everything. Nice. That is super cool. However, I don't think that's what we want to be doing right now. But I think it's cool as hell. Uh, so yeah, let's let's continue surveying. Let's uh, let's go outwards here and start moving along this upper path here. Now, I know a lot of uh, people have been saying like we need choke points, things to defend ourselves in case of invasion. And of course, we are not going to be an empire. That's just going to be focusing on uh, friendship. We will deal with diplomacy, but we'll also deal with combat because again, I want to learn everything. And we're going to be a technologically advanced uh, unit or faction. I want to say country, but I guess, you know, when you're in space, is it really still a country? It's more of a unified uh, species at this point, right? So we got to focus on uh, choke points, and it seems like way on the outskirts here. As long as there's no other alien species, we'll be able to make a choke point right down here, wherever this may be, because it doesn't have a name yet. Um, or Lemza, I guess it's called. Survey all celestial bodies in Lemza. Who knows? And then also there is, uh, well, we could do a point up top. But we'd be invaded from two angles. Or we could do down here, and it can only come down through one. I don't know what is more valuable. But I'm assuming if we were attacked from both sides, they would come in on either side in the actual in-game area. I don't even know how combat works. But, uh, I don't know. I played a couple RTSs in my time. You never know. Uh, let's go to this shit, by the way. He's just about to finish up his job. A few more turns. Construction complete. 
Perfect. All right, we got ourselves a mining station. So we are gathering a few more minerals. Excellent. We're at 72 of 100 uh, alloys at the moment. And we have one more item that we can claim. So if we go to the main map here, we can go for more energy credits. Or we can move on to eat our Vang. And I think we should do that because if we move on to eat our Vang, we're just going to be studying minerals there anyway. And then uh, sooner or later, we'll get another construction ship and he can complete the energy credits. So I feel like that's the right choice. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Oh, of course. We're lacking 18 alloys. Well, little did I know that we needed more of that. Crap. All right. You know what? In the meantime, then, to be as efficient as we can, babe. Right click on... Left click on Tau? Right click on Tau? I don't know how it works. Okay, we go... Right click on Tau? I'm clicking on the uh, on the energy credits, but it's not letting me do anything with it. I'm not sure why. How do we go about getting more? I guess we just... Really? <laughs> Game. Where is the two energy credits then? Oh, there it is. Over here. Oh, he's already doing it. Or is he? I have no idea. These are the issues I run into, where it's like, sometimes it'll give us a nice pop-up menu, and sometimes it won't. Alright, that, at least now I know. We've spent the 100 minerals, so now we're moving out. Ready to move out. We got our science vessel moving on here. Gonna do its own thing. In lizard space. <laughs> I just love the fact that we're lizards, so we all have lizard names. But I guess, would you say the Tau are lizards? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. At least in uh, Warhammer 40k lore. Obviously in this game, there are lizards. Because that's how I made them. Alright. The Voltom Star Assembly. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Kofifi 1. They must have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago. Judging by the age of the artifacts, from what they have been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that these aliens, who called themselves the Voltaum Star Assembly, were worm-like annelids, roughly three to four meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Interesting. I love all this fluff, man. Situation log updated. It's good shit. All right. Uh, oh, one thing I haven't done yet is on the side here, there's a situation log. So, Voltaeum artifacts recovered. So this just began a brand new situa situation log. We didn't have this before. Um, and here's our current score, apparently. So we are currently ranked 8, which is probably a bad thing, considering there's 9 of us here. And on January 1st, 2500, the, uni the Unidentified Empire will win the game. Great. Keep in mind that we all started the same. And we're trying our best here. I have to assume... Other people have began new colonies, and they're giving pretty sexy boosts. Economic strength also, though, appears to be very important. But yeah, uh, we only have one colony, so we're getting 50 per colony. Our pops is low. The more colonies you get, we're going to get more pops anyway. Hey, pops. Looks like relics, crisis ships, federation, subject empires, all the stuff. Super important. We'll figure it out as we go along. It's only the first reaches of the game, but we have our first goal. Volteum artifacts recovered. I have no idea how to recover them other than using science science vessels. Uh, we will try. We will try our best. Excellent. All right. So yeah, this uh, this sector seems good, man. The six minerals is awesome. The two extra energy credits is a nice little cherry on top of a wonderful land here. And we're about to hit the next month, so let's uh, head back on over to the main base. All right. Now. This is the big question, right? Do we build... Did I figure out all the buttons? Uh, do we build the construction ship, or do we go for uh, a colony ship? I feel like, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the colony ship is way better. Because then we're already starting more of our economy. Sure, very slowly, our construction ship's gonna go around, he's gonna do his thing, he's gonna put out the, the mining vessels and everything. I think a colony ship is great. Um, obviously, we still need to also plant down the major, what they call it, hub in the other area, the thing that allows us to build stuff or claim it as our own. Because our our map is very tiny. Like, our, our hold on the galaxy is very small. Excuse me. Um, yeah. I think perhaps that might be the way to go. Also, it doesn't cost any minerals, apparently. 
Um, nice. It doesn't cost any minerals at all to make a colony ship, which is awesome. Yeah, shit, man. I don't know. I think we're just going to hold off. We're just going to hold off for now. Let's see how we're doing expanding here. Oh, wow. Mass extinction. Our first stumbling steps into the void beyond Tau were not motivated solely by curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown or a need to leave our mark in the galaxy. The biosphere of Tau has undergone rapid changes in the past few centuries, and prominent scientists warn that Tau may be faced with the beginnings of a mass extinction event. Well, that sounds bad. Um, that cyclical purging of life that is inseparable from planetary existence in the greater cosmos? A research plan has been put together to study a number of planets rendering uninhabit uh, rendered uninhabitable by major astronomical incidents or plan uh, planet-bound catastrophes. We hope that by reconstructing these events, a similar fate may be avoided for Tau and the Tau race. It falls to you as Ethereal Supreme of the Tau Empire to ensure that the expedition is carried out. All right, um... Situation log updated. Well then, this is terrifying. The location of tracked points of interest are marked with a ping, okay. Can we track multiple things? Okay. Oh, I guess I could have just done that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. Don't, don't be mad. Okay. Uh, okay. And how do we... Hmm. Do we have to, like, find these places by interconnecting them? We are heading out, though, so we will try and figure this out. Obviously, we don't... We don't want to get effed up. But more science vessels, the better, right? The, the faster we're going to figure out where everything is. As long as these guys have progress bars, we're looking good, right? And they should level up as we go along. Okay. So we have our goals set before us. That's cool. I forgot that we have uh, we have various goals. It's not just to wipe out our enemies and confederate the entire galaxy. Which, uh, also, I did a little research. This is a galaxy, but there's also a universe full of galaxies. Apparently, NASA, who, like, back in 2017, thought there was, like, roughly 100 billion galaxies at the moment, and then when they upgraded the, the telescope, I think it's a Hubble one, a Hubble telescope, there'd only be, like, you know, 100,000 more that they'd find. Um, they kind of miscalculated a little bit. It turns out there's something like 2 billion, or 2 trillion, uh, that they were able to find. You know, go figure, right? So two trillion galaxies. So we're just in one of those sexy t uh, galaxies, which I think this one might contain Earth, but uh, maybe not. Because then again, if the United Nations of whoever the heck uh, don't exist here, then Earth might not exist. You never know, right? You never know. But I think that's so cool. Look how massive this one galaxy is, too, if you really think about it. Just insane. Uh, I may be a sci-fi geek or nerd, but I literally know nothing about space, which is the worst thing ever. So I can't even call myself a geek or a nerd because of that, because I know literally nothing about science. I just love fiction, man. It's just so fun. But actual, like, science fiction and, uh, and non-fiction, science non-fiction is also awesome. I don't know. I wish I, I wish I got more into this stuff. <laughs> the non-fiction, I'm more heavily into Warhammer 40k. Uh, alright, we're just kind of building our way up here. The dream is to make some more alloy factories, though, to be awesome. Construction vehicle is almost done doing his thing. We'll finally be done with this place. As he finishes up Shepator. And uh, once that's done, he'll move on to the next area. Perfect! Alright. He also finished up one of the systems. So, Kafifi has been fully surveyed. Awesome! Unfortunately, there is no areas there that happen to have... Uh, habitable planet. Ugh. That sucks. Now, I wonder what is the difference between potentially habitable? Or, uh, what's the difference between them being orange? Oh, desert world. Arid world. We want desert world, don't we? I guess the color of them depends on what type of planet it is, and maybe how close it is to what we want as a society. Because whichever one we choose here is going to affect... How I proceed. Essentially, we want every single planet we see nearby because more planets means more people spawning. Uh, and apparently, the the rough number is if it's 50% good or higher, you're probably okay to grab it. Anything lower than that, you might be wanting to go there a little bit mid-game. So 
far as I understand it. So yeah, uh, Kafifi's done. Construction complete, obviously. Uh, let's go check out this new area. Oh, it hasn't been scanned yet. We have no idea how habitable it is. I could find out right now. This is going to be a planet for us. Like, that's, a, that's for sure. Um, definitely super good planet for us. But Arid's okay, and it was 70%. So I say we grab our construction ship. Um, you know what? I want to rename this one to Earthcast, because Earthcast typically is the one that constructs things. Um, sure, your name is Talnik. I don't, that's definitely not a town name, but I don't give a shit. All right, anyway, move in. Uh, we need to construct a star base, which will cost. Oh, this also costs influence. Interesting. And of course, it's going to cost us star base. So hopefully, by the time this finishes up, and even if it doesn't, we can start working on mining stations. It's not like we're not gaining anything from doing this. Uh, and we have to construct this at some point anyway. Uh, so let's start focusing on Starbase now, getting those minerals up and running, and then we'll be able to send our colony ship out and get things looking good. So yeah, boom. We're moving in. Unpause. <laughs> yeah. Anomaly found. Oh shit, hello. Routine checkup, eh? I like it. Uh, let's do it. Let's research it. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this moon. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Who knows? Well, let's find out. Oh god, you're gonna clip through the sun! You're dead. You just dot, Dude, you're dead now. I guess you are Earthcast for a reason. You have no human bodies in there. It's just remote controlled, probably, from uh, Tau, right over there. The Earth cast stands with you. I wonder uh, which cast does all the research, I wonder. I know the fire cast is usually the military fleets, right? I love the, the S's. The Alex Sarl battle group. The Corvette fire cast. Oh, it should be the fire cast, damn it. I wish you could do different casts. Traditions available. Let's pause it. Now, I may, I, I've been rethinking a few of these things. Now, expansion. Seems like something we might want to be doing because now we have two habitable planets nearby and these are supposedly very, very good. New colonies start with an additional population, which as we've seen, we're really bad at breeding. <laughs> so this might really help us out a lot um, and we can get even more. We can completely negate our negative perk by getting pop growth speed go up, but it sounds pretty awesome. We're also doing research obviously on that too. So. Basically, the Tau Empire is like, hey, hey guys, we really suck at breeding. We ain't cats. We ain't bunnies. We got to figure a way to, to sort this stuff out, right? We're like the Krogan. Uh, although even, you know, we're in a better space than the Krogan, let's be real. But uh, we're like the Krogan from Mass Effect, right? We're just trying to figure out this research on how to stop our ability to uh, breed poorly. <laughs> Whereas uh, in Krogan, they, I don't think they can breed ever. Well, let's not worry about that semantic. We also have reach for the stars. The frontiers of our nation are being pushed ever forward. Soon, nothing in this galaxy will lie beyond our grasp. Starbase influence cost reduced by 10%. That's actually pretty dope, considering we uh, are only getting plus three influence per turn, which is not a whole lot. So 10% boost would be nice. I mean, it'll only be like one point at the moment, but later on, if we can get more, it'd be nice. Empire's sprawl from systems and colonies is reduced by 25%. I think that's this one here. Empire Sprawl is an interesting one because essentially the more you hold, if you get above this large number here, we're 34 or 50, right? We started roughly at 30. If we get a, if, if we get above 50, other civilizations apparently start hating us uh, because we're going, we're too big for our own good, right? And uh, obviously you're seen as more of a, I don't know, someone that's out of line, stepping out of line to take over land. Um, I don't know. Like, it's interesting. I guess we become war mongers or some sort of monster if we if we keep expanding too far. But we'll try uh, to see how far we can push this. Apparently, I just moved the map a little bit. Uh, okay, and then there's prosperity, which is going to help us with trying to get 
more items. We have reduction in uh, building upkeep, which is awesome for our districts. And uh, this will help us essentially get more items, which is great. But then there's also the science division. Research alternatives increase by one. Scientist level cap go up. Survey speed go up. Like, that's a really, that's a good one, man. Man, that one's a good one. Time ship disengage chance. Well, I don't even, we haven't even run in combat yet, but I'm assuming if you run into a malicious empire, then we may be running into some problems there too, right? Faith in science. The public has come to regard science as something almost akin to religion. Actually, that's very accurate to our, our people. Pops working on research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. I feel like because we haven't expanded yet, we should probably go with this first and then maybe discovery or prosperity next. That's how, that's how I'm feeling right now. And I think we should go for colonization fever, but at least uh, under expansion, colony development speed is increased by 25% right as we adopt it. And if we finish this, we get adopting all expansion traditions will allow all your planets to build one additional district. This will not only affect habitats and ring worlds. In addition, we will unlock one. Sorry, this will not affect habitats and ring worlds. Okay. In addition, we will unlock one Ascension perk slot. Very nice. And this will cost, obviously, 300 unity. Okay. There we go. It took me six hours to figure that out, but I, I have to read through these because, much like in Civilization games, these are relatively important. Of course, we'll get them all at some point, but, you know. Uh, and influence is definitely something I feel like we need a little bit more of because we're kind of running out here, aren't we? All right, let's unpause it. Oh, he's already... Moved on down the new the new land up here in Edor Vang. It moves on up. Yeah, look at him. Getting ready to go. Rearing to go. Pause it for a sec, though. Check our empire. For new buildings, we have enough. Because it's 320. I should have built this earlier. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, that's okay. I think we definitely want to make more allies. So we're going to start our building of the alloy foundry. It will take a whole year to create this. But don't worry, the Earth cast is on it. So we're good. That'll take a while, and at least now we're finally pumping something out of our main base here. As we can see. Now we're just going to have to hold on until we have enough for a new colony ship. On the bright side, I think by the time we finish uh, constructing this, found. this thing here, we should be good. Another routine check. This toxic and lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited. Let's go over to the actual planet so we can see what it looks like. Aha! Much better. This toxic and lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited by a moderately advanced pre-space civilization. The ruins of their cities are still strewn across the surface. Very nice. And uh, apparently this is the technical name for it. SL963089? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, well of course you're going to research it. Of course. Look at this planet, man. This looks like a toxic sludge. I bet all the witches hang out in there, man. What, what a nasty planet, dude. Perfect for lizards, honestly. I, I, I can't believe it's not considered inhabitable. How dare. Oh yeah, look at that. Right over here, the asteroid. Usually asteroids ought to have like minerals and stuff, right? For us to check out? Who knows? He's already researching this guy, so we're good. 50% there. How's this plan look? There it is. Look at you. Look at you go. Tiny little ice caps on it. Kind of reminds me of a planet from, like, you know, Planetary Annihilation. Good game, by the way. Lots of fun. Really like that one. Although, I do think that uh, Total War... Not Total War. Total Annihilation, was it? Forge Alliance Forever. That's a good game. Let's go back to our main town. I am going a bit slower here. I could speed it up, but I kind of just want to take my time with this and figure it all out. Um, and as I say that, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're sticking with this series, thank you so much as I'm slowly learning everything out. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any tips as for how I can improve upon this game, uh, do feel free to let me know. And if you have any questions, like I said, maybe someone else in the comments would be able to help you guys out. Other than that, though, I'm Akabane101. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.